Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. This is Anonymous T. Hope you're having an amazing day today. Today, I just wanted to have a discussion about a couple things regarding this Cornelius, Alex, and Camille situation. I think um, I'm still trying to get through the rest of Alex's interview with Little Black Book, but at the end of the day, here's the thing. Cornelius obviously is playing both women, and whatever they're trying to do to show which one is, you know, the one that should be with Cornelius is irrelevant to me. Um, but I do find some issues in terms of what is actually taking place. Um, Camille texting and trying to contact this woman's ex-husband and threatening to sue for defamation. And there's been plenty of receipts to show that something was going on of some capacity between Alex and Cornelius is extreme for me. And all this time on social media, as the season was airing, Camille wanted to portray herself that it was all editing, that it was voice actors that was saying and doing all of these things. And, the, and this wasn't her. But it turns out she's a lot worse off camera than what she is on camera with these shenanigans. Like, if things are as bad as you say, why are you still with Cornelius? I, I mean, that's just really the question at this point. You know, because what is this doing for you? Exactly. But it's just scary because the same woman also said that Cornelius was trying to get away from this woman and that him and his ex, like I said in another video, were trying to pray away Camille. So I do think there's something to that because Cornelius did look horrified in his confessionals when discussing Camille. So, and I do believe to an extent that something is off with them as a couple because Courtney basically confirmed that there were only two couples this season that are legit and that was Sydney and Phil and Dante and Aisha. And I also have an issue with Camille saying that the women weren't brown enough or weren't dark skinned enough to be considered black on the show, allegedly. And that was kind of the backdrop of the brown girl squad to take out their grievances against Sydney, against Sabrina and against Aisha. I just find that to be very problematic, very disgusting and I feel like that also is, you know, a hidden reason as to why she's going so hard at this woman as well because of her looks. So that's a whole nother topic and conversation within itself. But the main thing I wanted to discuss is Cornelius being an example of a certain percentage of men who try to use church and religion as a way to lure black women and think that they are these good guys. But in reality, they are a disaster. They are a train wreck. They are doing everything you're not supposed to do as a Christian, which is lying, committing adultery, doing all of these inappropriate things, having multiple women at once, like everything. And it's just, I hate when people try to say that they are Christian, try to say that they are religious, and they are not living right at all. Now, truth be told, Christianity, like that's a whole separate topic, but Christians are not perfect. But this whole thing where Cornelius made it a point on the show to lead with celibacy, to lead with, you know, being a Christian and heavy in the church and this and that, but you're acting foul behind the scenes and trying to play two women and trying to sleep with two women at the same time and all this and that, like, it's just not a good look at all. And it was always obvious to me from the beginning that Cornelius always seemed as though um, he was just trying to be into the acting. He actually reminds me um, of the guy from season one who was coincidentally also bald, but also tried to play up like his relationship post season. But really, he was all he was only trying to become an actor all along. But he knew the optics and everybody being a fan of them. And so they stayed together a little while after the reunion taping. But then he showed his true colors that he was really just trying to get put on and trying to get into some acting roles. And I think that's really the same thing that's going on here with Cornelius. 
whenever this NDA expires is probably when we will hear a formal announcement of Cornelius and Camille breaking up. And then I expect to see Cornelius trying to be in different roles and this and that, or trying to make his break into, you know, the celebrity, black celebrity life or what have you. So I am not surprised at all by any of this that is taking place. Because if you watched their journey, there was nothing that really felt like it was intimate between them, that it was romantic between the two of them. So this whole thing where you're going this hard in the paint and trying to, you know, do all these exposés on social media and trying to post all these screenshots and all of these nasty messages and things that you're sending to people. And then Cornelius has to talk you down and make you take them off. Like, it's just all bad. It's all bad, and it reinforces all of the negative things that people had to say about you all season. So, um, and I feel at this point, you know, Alex, the other woman, allegedly, she just has to know at this point that she was played. Like, no matter however she wants to slice it or dice it, that Cornelius is still involved with Camille in some capacity. He's still trying to have her in the background in some capacity, whether it was he was really attracted to her or not, we'll never know. Or if he was willing to go as far as he needed to go to potentially get access to the connects and things that she has in her life, we'll never know. But I feel like the truth is somewhere in the middle. But the truth I do know is Cornelius is a fraud. That I can guarantee you. Because nobody would be moving like this if you were truly all about one person and if you were truly about being a christian being celibate and all of those things versus just saying what you want to say for tv and thinking of just writing this out with camille as a good look because if you'll recall on courtney's live or panel that she did with little black book she basically had said that they had like an acting thing where cornelius wanted in the reunion some plaque that he had got camille and by the second take that they filmed it she's like crying hysterically like acting crying and they filmed it like four or five times or something so that told me right there the agenda that is happening that Cornelius still thinks to this point that him staying with Camille and presenting this united front is good for his image however there's still too much backlash that is happening you know not only with Camille but now with Cornelius and Alex now that Cornelius is being exposed for who he is so um, that is all that I have to say on that. Please let me know what your guys' thoughts are. Do you guys agree? Do you guys disagree? What do you guys think of this other woman? Did you guys watch the little black book interview from last night? I'll link it in the description box, of course. But I just want to know your guys' thoughts on this. I personally can't wait for the next season of DC to start on Friday because I am just over the shenanigans that is happening. You know, we are getting all of this drama that's taking place postseason that they could have, you know, incorporated somehow into the show. But it was clear that production dropped the ball and wanted to present certain people with a certain image or a certain character arc for the show that is not translating to what is actually happening in real life and in real time with a lot of these cast members. So please let me know what you guys think. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment that I post new content on my channel. And with that being said, I will talk to you guys again very soon.